don't look to your sickness or you will get distressed don't look to yourself or you will get depressed look to Jesus right now and you will find God's rest as the worship team is going to sing right now any pain that you have in your body I want you to not look at that I want you to look to Jesus Christ many people get really tripped up about this because they look to themselves and they see how much faith they have and they realize they don't have a lot of faith if you focus on your faith you're missing the point faith is like eyes eyes are not meant to see themselves eyes are meant to see everything but themselves faith is not meant to see faith faith is meant to see Jesus so as we're gonna worship right now and after this moment we're just gonna do a prayer of declaration God's healing power is gonna flow the presence of the Holy Spirit is gonna manifest this what we just took in and what we believe today in Jesus mighty name and we're gonna see the Lord moving among us and restoring our health to our original position in Jesus name I want you to raise your hands right now and most importantly lift your eyes lift your eyes off of your situation lift your eyes off of the fact that maybe you prayed so many prayers already and you've done everything that you could medically pretend that this is the first time don't look into yourself when Israel was bitten by snakes God didn't say to look at the place where the snake snake bit he says look to the scepter look to the serpent look to Jesus Christ right now as they worship lift your eyes to him your healing comes from him not from you in Jesus name we thank you Lord we welcome your presence Holy Spirit come descend right now draw our attention to Jesus and as we look to Jesus bring your anointing in this place wherever you're standing right now the presence of the Holy Spirit is here right now and he wants to touch you your body is his temple just remain quiet for just next 30 seconds just allow his presence right now to touch you wherever you have pain in that place right now his anointing his fire is touching that area whether it's your back 
whether it's your liver whether it's your lungs whether it's the tumor that is in your body or that is the lump what is the pain in your heel what is that infection in your ears the Holy Spirit just open yourself to him in your heart Holy Spirit touch your people right now Holy Spirit manifest the healing of Jesus descend right now Holy Spirit to place your hand upon a part of your body where you have pain and I want you to say this prayer out loud with me say my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit my body is not for disease and it's not for sickness say right now I receive God's promise that by his stripes I was healed oh Holy Spirit touch this part by your fire right now in Jesus name right now just begin to pray over that area father in the name of Jesus Christ I thank you for the name of Jesus that is gonna perform wonders in our midst in Jesus mighty name I thank you the distance is not a barrier and those who are watching us on live stream right now that you are able and you are touching them right now in Jesus name I come against every disease I come against every killer spirit that seeks to bring death and seeks to bring degradation in Jesus mighty name you demonic spirit I break your grip right now in Jesus mighty name you generational curse of premature death you generational curse and you demon of infirmity I command you out in Jesus mighty name I break your grip right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Holy Ghost fire and the blood of Jesus Christ right now to bring total healing to manifest total healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ we pray in Jesus Christ we pray in the name of Jesus, Jesus command that come pain against to leave right, right now. now every mental disorder we come against every diabetes every arthritis every epilepsy every mental disorder every mental every, every mental disorder in their body in the name of Jesus we break every grip of sickness of disease every knee pain every heart problem every kidney disease every heart failure in the name of Jesus we break your grip whatever name they call it we come against you in the name of Jesus the fire of the Holy Ghost every migraine every eye problem every ear infection every skin disease in the name of Jesus we break your grip every bone problem every disease that's passed from generation we break your power we break your influence in people's lives in Jesus name every MS every every STD every AIDS in the name of Jesus we come against you we break your stronghold we break your grip in Jesus name every cancer every tumor in the name of Jesus we break your grip in the fire of the Holy Ghost in Jesus mighty name we come against every sickness and disease ruling your body right now in Jesus mighty name we put an end to that rule in Jesus name we put an end to of the rule of every sickness in our body in Jesus mighty name every tumor every lump in your body we command it cease in Jesus mighty name we break your power we break your grip we break your rule over your body in Jesus mighty name we come against every tumor in our brain every tumor in our lungs every tumor in our body right now in Jesus mighty name we command it to disappear right now in Jesus mighty name we command every lump to shrink right now in Jesus mighty name we command it to go away in the mighty name of Jesus every tuberculosis MS lupus right now in Jesus mighty name we command you leave in Jesus mighty name we take authority over you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Jesus name
is touching somebody's heel right now somebody's heel you will feel heat if you feel heat going all over your body or the parts of your body where you had pain begin to move those parts right now because God that's God's healing that's coming on your body right now if you had problem with your neck or your back and right now the Holy Spirit is touching that area begin to move right now the part where you had pain because it is the Holy Spirit that is touching you for those who are watching us on live stream the same thing this is not a barrier to God begin to exercise your faith right now and by that you receive the healing in Jesus mighty name in the name of Jesus Christ we want to also take a moment right now because the Bible says not only we declare God's healing we also the Bible says those who believe in him they will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover for those of you who still have you have pain in your body right now I ask, I ask if you can lift your hand so we can still minister to you if you have a pain in your body don't be ashamed to just lift your hand right now if there's somebody beside you that has a hand up if you're a believer the Bible says those who believe will lay hands on the sick if you're a believer would you be able to just place your hand on their shoulder don't lay your hand on their head but just on their shoulder or somebody I want every person who has a hand up to be prayed for right now every person to be prayed for let's just but now take next 60 seconds and just if you don't have somebody standing next to you I want you to lift your voice right now begin to just lift your voice and pray for people in the hospitals pray for people who are your family members for somebody right now every person to be receiving prayer in Jesus mighty name in the name of Jesus they're gonna worship right now just receive the prayer receive that healing right now because God's healing power is flowing God's anointing is flowing right now in the name of Jesus Christ For those of you who received the prayer right now, I want you to begin to do something you could not do without pain. And I want you to test your body. When you notice that there is no pain, lift your hands. If you notice that you've received prayer and sometimes right now you notice that the pain is gone, just lift your hands. I want to give the glory to God. I want to give the glory to God. I see some hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What's your name and what the pain you had? I'm Donnie Putro. I've had arthritis since I was 14. And what happened to you today? felt numbness in my back and my toes and I felt my toes straining. Now you don't feel any pain anymore? No, not right now, no. Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. And what are some things you couldn't do that you can do now? What is some difference that you really feel right now? Energy. Oh, come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, Donnie. Can you tell us your name and what happened to you? I'm Selena and I have uh, chronic arthritis in my spine. For how long did you have the problem? Since I was 16 years old. And what happened to you today? Um, I felt heat in my spine and usually when I wear heels my back hurts and now it's not. It was hurting earlier but not no more. Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Wow, that's so awesome. Tell us your name and what's the problem that you're having. Eileen Durfee. Um, I was born twisted, have had back pain my whole life. Um, I go to the chiropractor at least once a week. And, uh, you know, I had pain in my neck, and I couldn't turn my head more than this, and I felt the heat come upon me, and now I can turn it both ways, and the pain is gone. Come on, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Tell us, what's your name, and what was the problem you were having? Um, my name's Dolores, and... Since the minute we walked in the door, I could hardly breathe because I'd been stage four cancer, COPD, and last stage emphysema, and the smells. And 
I was standing there and I was about to pass out. I thought I might even die because I was gasping for air. And for about three months, I won't even been able to sit on the couch and just going to the bathroom, I'm out of breath. And I mean, I was standing there. And uh, anyway, they just got a half a gallon of fluids off my lungs and I'm breathing. <laughs> Come on. So, so what happened to you as, as prayer was being offered? What, what did you begin to experience? I, being able, I started breathing without feeling like I was going to die or pass out. And I couldn't stand. I mean, I couldn't have walked up here before. Wow, so you, couldn't, you weren't able to walk this long of a distance before? No. <laughs> and right now you're standing up here. You're breathing fine. Everything's well. Come on, give God a shout of praise. Hi there. If you're like me and you like to click on things, Go ahead and click right here and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In this way, we'll be able to send the content to you directly. And each week you'll stay updated with the things that we post. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.